Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well and uh, welcome to another Sunday. In this video, I'd like to share with you change lane blind spot, which means that we need to look at the blind spot when we are changing lane. Okay, so in this video, we are talking about change lane blind spot. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and let's start the lesson. So first of all, let me explain what we're going to talk about in this video. We're going to talk about in this video, checking blind spots when we are changing lane. Okay, if you need to learn about the blind spot, then I do have a, another video on the channel, which I will leave a card somewhere here. Also, I will leave a link on the description for you to have a look. And in that video, I explain more in greater details about the blind spot, where you could understand about the blind spot, okay? But in this video, I am sharing change lane blind spot, meaning we look at the blind spot only we are changing lane. First of all, we need to understand what is blind spot and where are the blind spots, okay? Like I said, if you watch the other video, you will understand more about the blind spot and where the blind spots are. But here briefly, if we understand, imagine you're sitting, this is your sitting, your car sitting position, okay? And imagine you have a clock around you, okay? Which I will show you in the diagram in a minute. If you imagine there is a clock around you, okay? If you have a clock, this would be 12 o'clock and behind would be six o'clock, okay? This would be nine o'clock and this would be three o'clock. Okay, the four o'clock on your right, that's where the right blind spot is, and eight o'clock on your left, that's your left blind spot. So if you could remember that, okay, imagine there's a clock around you, okay, four o'clock on your right, this is the four o'clock, that's your right blind spot, and eight o'clock is where your left blind spot is. This is one of the simple way for you to remember where the blind spot is. It is very important for you to know where the blind spot is because unless you know, this is what the problem is because many learners, they don't actually know where the blind spot actually is. And what they're doing is they are turning their head over too much or too less. And this is the problem. Unless you know, you don't really know where to look. So it is important you know. The problem, like I said, many learners, because they don't know what they're doing is they are going too much. They're going too much. And because they're going too much, the wheel is going all over the place. Okay? That's one of the problem. The other problem is when they turn, the hand is going with it. And that's the problem. The car is not staying straight. Okay? So first of all, we need to understand. And second, I'll explain to you what you need to do about the steering. So because we know where the blind spot is, this is what you need to do. That's the blind spot, okay? Not there, not there, because over there is covered by the side mirror. The blind spot is where the mirror, the mirror doesn't cover. If you go too much back over there, that is covered by the side mirror. The part is not covered, is in between there and the back it's in between around here okay so like i said four o'clock where is four o'clock there 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 the other side there there not over there because over there is covered by the side mirror already top mirror already covered you are looking at the place where the mirrors doesn't cover where is that there okay so make sure you know how much to turn. That's the first thing. Second thing, imagine you're driving on a busy road. You're driving on a motorway and you're driving 70, okay? And you are turning too much and you're staying there for too long and the car in front breaks. What's going to happen? It's going to be dangerous, right? It's going to be terrible. I mean, you're going to be involved in an accident if they break. So you want to make sure when you go to the blind spot, you're not going for too long and you're not turning over too much because... That's not the blind spot, okay? Secondly, before you turn, before you need to look at the blind spot, make sure you think of your hands first. This is the problem many learners. They are just thinking too much about the blind spot and they forget to keep the car in a straight line or the way the road is going. So make sure you think of the steering before you turn your head over. So I'm thinking, so this, 
I'm driving, I've looked at the side mirrors, I've looked at the top mirrors, now I know the sides are safe, I need to make sure the blind spot is safe. So I'm thinking about the steering and I'm thinking to keep the car straight. Now I know my hand is little firm. Don't go, okay? Don't take your hands with it. Make sure you think of your hands, keep it straight. Okay, so make sure, I hope this explains to you, okay? So if I give you some example here, like I said, in this video, I am talking about change lane blind spot, okay? And like I said, if you want a video on blind spot in a greater details, watch the other video on the channel where I explain in a greater details about the blind spot, okay? So here, let me give you briefly what is blind spot first, where the blind spot is. Because first of all, you need to understand where the blind spot is for you to look for the blind spot, okay? Unless you know where the blind spot is, it is difficult for you to know where to look and how to turn your head over to your shoulder to know where the blind spot is. So imagine this is your car. That's your car, okay? And you are sitting here. This is your sitting inside the car, okay? If you're sitting here, and you need to know where the blind spot is. My advice is put a clock around you. Imagine there is a clock. Imagine there is a clock, okay? If you was a clock around you, this is you sitting, this is a clock around you. This is 12 o'clock, this is six o'clock, this is nine o'clock, and this is three o'clock, okay? If you're sitting here, your blind spot is around four o'clock on the right, and around eight o'clock on your left. Okay, so this is your left blind spot and this is your right blind spot. Four o'clock on your right, eight o'clock on your left. If you could remember that, it's easy for you to know where the blind spot is. So then you know how much turning you need to do. Because the problem is many learners, they turn too much and they're looking here. And this part is already covered by your side mirror. Okay, the side mirror doesn't cover the area here the area here okay if you go over too much you'll be looking at the place where the mirror is already covering same here if you go over too much on the left you will be looking at here and that is already covered by your side mirror okay so first of all you need to know where the blind spot is and as i said four o'clock on your right eight o'clock on your left okay that's the first thing you need to know so make sure you know what the blind spot, only then you know how much turning you need to do with your head over to the shoulder for you to look at the blind spot. Next thing you need to know is that on your changing lane, okay, on your changing lane, say there is a car here, okay, there's a car in this lane, and this is your car, okay. This car is not going up to the road speed. So maybe the road is 70 because it's a motorway, but they are only going 50, which means you're going to overtake. Now, before you overtake, you look at the mirror, you put the signal on, and then you want to check the blind spot before you change lane. Make sure that you know where the four o'clock is because this is the four o'clock. Not here, not there. This is covered by the side mirror, and this is what you could already see when you're looking anyway. You are looking at here. This is your blind spot, okay? First of all, make sure you think of the blind spot. Don't look at it yet because you want to make sure your hand is firm and you are thinking because if the car breaks and you're looking at the blind spot for too long and if they break, you're going to go back of them. So you want to make sure that your hand is firm and you are thinking about the car, think about your hand and then look over quickly. Just quick glance. Don't go there and stay there. Look and look at the front. Look and look at the front. When there's nobody there, then you change lane. That's the first thing. Second thing is, say this is your car. That's your car, okay? One thing is your blind spot. And another thing is that you don't want to be on the blind spot of other people. So when you are driving, don't drive on the blind spot of others for too long. Stay away from their blind spot. Because if you stay there, and that's their blind spot and they want to change lane, that could be a problem. Imagine there's a car here and they want to come in to the middle lane and then to the left lane and you are driving on their blind spot, okay? 
and imagine they don't look at the blind spot what's going to happen okay so you want to make sure you don't drive on other people's blind spot because if you do and if they don't check the blind spot before changing lane there could be an accident even though it's their fault that's not the point the point is if you stayed away you would have avoided an accident so just to summarize again if you want to change lane make sure you look at the blind spot and before you do that think of your hand and look over your shoulder as a glance okay so glance and there's nobody there then change lane also on newer driving try to think of other people's blind spot and don't drive on their blind spot for too long uh, because if they need to change lane and they don't look at the blind spot there could be an accident because they haven't seen your car so you want to make sure your blind spot is safe also don't drive on other people's blind spot so if you look here on the side mirror this is the right side mirror what can you see here okay now if you go over our blind spot that's the car this is the blind spot and this blind spot is not covered in that side mirror you can't see the car on our blind spot can you see you can't if you go over that's the blind spot that's the car okay but then if you come back to the side mirror again can you see it you can't see it and again that's the car okay so now we know what the blind spot is and if I show you from the outside this is this is where we were sitting okay and this is the blind spot this this was the car I showed you okay so can you see that's the car that's your car and your right shoulder which I showed you this is the blind spot this car was the blind spot if I go a little bit further then you will see can you see can you see that's the blind spot okay that's the blind spot this is the car the silver car and the black car is yours over there okay so if you were if you were driving the black car the silver car is your blind spot okay now here i am driving on a dual carriageway which has three lanes and as i said on the diagram that on your drive and um, try not to drive on other people's blind spot for too long try to avoid their blind spot because if they want to change lane and they don't look at the blind spot that could be a problem and uh, as you can see here there is a white van on our right if they want to change lane and if i were on their blind spot they just change lane now as you can see if i was close a little bit more and i was on their blind spot and they don't look at the blind spot that could be a problem so near drive and uh, not just you need to check your blind spot you also need to be away from other people's blind spot because if they need to change lane that could be a problem if you um if they don't see you there and uh, as you can see here there is an example can you see the car on our right what if they want to come to our lane and we are too close to them what could happen so um always be aware if those cars wants to come into your lane as you can see here now and um, what if if we were a little bit more closer on their blind spot and they didn't look at the blind spot that could have been a problem okay so always make sure not just about you about other people as well so stay away from other people's blind spot now here I am driving on a double carriageway with three lanes and I am driving on the left lane which is the normal driving lane but the car in front if they don't drive the road speed then I can overtake now as I drive I could see I'm closing the gap which means they are not driving the road speed which means I need to change lane to overtake them and then come back to my lane again I look at the top and right mirror I signal right and I'm thinking of my hand keeping the guy in a straight line blind spot blind spot and I change lane and then I will be thinking of coming back to my lane again now this changing lane and doing the blind spot it can be dangerous unless you've done it a few times unless you've done the practice and one other thing I would say for you to make that better is to sit in a car which is not moving just stationary car and what you do is you practice while you sit so you sit down and think get your mental ready so that you know so you sit and look at the mirrors look at the mirrors look at the mirrors and then put the signal on and think how you are gonna think about your hand think as if the car is moving so the car is moving I looked at the mirror I looked at the mirror 
look at the mirror, look at the mirror. I put the signal on and now my hand is firm and I'm thinking to move. So I could see it's clear now, it's clear. I could see it's clear. Now I need to look the blind spot. So my hand is not moving. And do that a few times. Do that quite a few times while the car is not moving. Just stationary car, sit in your car and just practice that a few times. It's going to help you when you go and do practice because you've done it and you're ready mentally. Okay, so just sit, look at the mirror, just practice looking at the mirrors, looking at the mirrors, looking at the mirrors, look at the mirror. So basically look at the mirror, look at the front, look at the mirror, look at the front, put the signal on. And you, what you're doing is, while you're doing that, your mind is on your hand. So your hand is not moving. What happens is when you move your head towards the mirror or the blind spot and your hand is moving towards that way. So you just have to practice that. When I'm looking at the mirrors, when I'm looking at the blind spot, my hand is staying where it is. So it's not going anywhere. Okay. So if I go at the blind spot, it's not like my hand is going to go. Okay, so if I were you, I would practice that few times while the car is stationary, it's not moving. That way, it will give you that practice. It will help you when you go out and do it in real life. Because changing lane, it can be dangerous unless you do it a few times. Okay, because the car is moving. And number one, if you don't look at the blind spot, that's dangerous. And if you do look and your car is moving, your hand is moving towards that way, that's also dangerous. So make sure you practice a few times while the car is stationary to make it better. Okay? Okay, that's it for today. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. And like I said, if you want to understand about the blind spot in a greater details, then like I said, watch the other video on the channel, which I will leave a link on the description. But I hope this video helps. If it did, please do give a thumbs up and please do make a comment what you think of the video. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and hope to see you again on the next video. Bye for now.